Hey guys, hope you all are doing great. This is Pushan and you guys are watching Penguin Graphy. So here, this is a tutorial of uh, this painting that you have just seen few moments ago. And I will be adding the solid colors at first, um, as always, what I uh, prefer doing. And I will be adding some lighter tone in the middle and some darker tone uh, in the outer portion, as you can see. Um, also in the ground, I will be adding some darker tone because I will have another ground on top of it. Here I'm blending the colors at first uh, and I'm blending it uh, until I'm happy with the results um, and as you can see that now it looks quite uh, mixed up with the uh, with the scene and now I'll be adding the next layer which is my tree and the uh, bridge that I will be drawing the tree is going to have a brown tone and it will have some colors inside of it which might look like uh, sunlight is uh, falling on a particular area for example the left portion sunlight will fall there uh, first I'm drawing the solid color the brown then I'll be adding the um, highlights and shadows later on but first I'm going to draw the solids such as the bridge the tree etc also I'll be drawing some trees on the background so I'm speeding up the video so it becomes easy for you to watch. Here you can see that I have added a little tunnel kind of thing in the middle of my bridge and I have erased that portion. Later on I will add some black kind of a dark tone uh, on top of it. Um, now I'm drawing some I'm drawing some trees behind of the scene so that it looks there are uh, trees um, and some kind of forest in the background and then we have the bridge and the trees in the front area. Here I'm changing the blend mode of my background trees. I'm keeping one layer to normal and the other layer to overlay. Um, and now I'm drawing the ground portion. Um, adding few lighter tones in the middle so that the pond or the uh, lake looks like it has different uh, color texture um, inside of it. Also the tunnel should have a darker tone than the lake. Uh, because it's 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 inside of the shadow area because it is uh, having some shadow inside of it so you can see that I'm keeping the tunnel black and the other uh, lake portion to some gray and some uh, darker gray color now in the bridge area I'm going to add some gray tone and then I will be add a brick texture on top of it And I will keep it to black um, and I will just uh, dab it on top of my bridge and it shall have a good brick texture. Um, it will look realistic. Now I'm adding few uh, lighter brown color on the soil and I will be blending that as well with the similar blend brush that I had used in the first place. Later on we will add some more soil on top of the lake um, and the 
uh, area that's behind of the bigger tree that you can uh, see in the very front of your screen I will be as some soil uh, moreover you can see that uh, above the bridge I'm adding some soil in the lower portion of the tree uh, and uh, later on I might use some grass texture and some plant texture on top of the soil uh, some extra soil uh, on top of the lake there shall be some flowers as well on top of the grass that I will be adding later on if you if you think of your painting uh, before you start uh, doing the painting um, I think you can have some uh, basic imagination about how your painting uh, should look like but you can have at least the idea of what layers should be drawn uh, before and what should be drawn later on um, I think uh, drawing the base of the painting is most important then eventually you can add uh, details to it now you can see that I'm adding details to the um, to the tree branch and the tree body and uh, as I have said I'll be adding some shadows and highlights on top of my tree body and this is what I'm doing right now I'm speeding up the video again so it becomes easier for you to watch Now I'm adding some grass on top of the soil that I had drawn earlier and the grass is quite greenish. Then I'm adding some similar kind of grass uh, on the soil part of the background tree as you can see. And I'm trying to keep the green subtle and I'm not trying to use it um, very much because I think it might lose its um, importance <laughs> in the whole picture uh, because I'm going to add a lot of green behind of the trees um, so I'm trying to keep it very balanced uh, because if I make the whole painting green then the grass and the leaves will lose their importance I think now adding some leaves in the background of the trees uh, so that it looks more like a forest uh, lighter green and darker green some mixture of it also I'm changing the brush tips more often <music> fixing the opacity and playing with the fog effect is really important when you are trying to give it a more wintry kind of look um, and I am changing the blend mode to luminous um, as you can see that I'm drawing fog on top of my trees and behind of the bridge uh, it's a more morning kind of look or maybe uh, evening kind of look uh, so I think uh, I'm trying to give it a more morning kind of look and I'm changing the blend modes as well on your right if you look carefully also I wasn't happy with the texture of the tree body so I'm, I'm changing it um, and giving it a more dark green kind of uh, look now adding some few leaves on the background and we're almost at the end of our painting um, it was a very um, easy process I think also I'll be changing the opacity of the leaves that I have drawn right now uh, because they look very much vibrant which I do not like the background things should have a uh, less opacity now I'm adding some white color on the background and then I'm making it um, the side blend mode and I'm also blending it away because it was looking very much saturated uh, and vibrant now I'm adding the last thing that I always do to my painting which is the overlay I use airbrush effect for different coloring and then I use the overlay blend mode and I'm playing with the colors until I'm happy with the results as you can see um, I have changed the entire look of the painting with the help of different colors in different portion of the painting and um, I think we're almost done um, I will add a red and orange kind of flowers on top of the grass um, and in the background where I have drawn the leaves um, so I think red color will uh, pop up a bit more 
uh, and it will look very much saturated and um, unique so I'm adding some red flowers as you can see I'm adding it carefully and uh, in a very little amount because Now I think I will be adding some orange flowers as well um, in a very little amount again. Then we are almost done with our painting. Some green kind of leaves in the in the front of our painting so that it doesn't look very much empty in the front. A very little amount and now we are done we are almost done so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like my videos kindly subscribe to my channel share my videos with your friends have a nice day everyone thank you so much for watching